welcome to All About Guitar Academy. Today we're going to talk about how to have fun with power chords. I did throw out a, a beginner's video a while back about guitar rock power chords. It was just a very simple, basic, uh, excuse me, my German Shepherd's rocking out here. Um, I did throw out a video that just basically covered G, D, A, and E. Also known as G5, D5, A5, and E5. What's really cool about power chords is, for example, if you were to play an E major chord, all right, that's playing all six strings. Instead of playing that with all six strings, what if you just played two strings with one finger? So if I took my index finger or finger number one and I put it here on the second fret of the fifth string from the bottom, I always count my strings like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so if we're up here on the second fret of the fifth string using finger number one and just playing two strings, an open E and this note right here, basically a power chord that would be considered an E5. Now if I wanted to lay my finger number one down over the next string over, so I'm covering up string five and string four and playing that open E, it just adds a little bit more to it. So if I was to add a little overdrive, Same thing with the A. I could play a full A chord. Or I could play an A5 power chord, which just simply means I'm going to only use this first finger, finger number one, and I'm going to place it on fret number two of string number four. I'm going to play these two strings, my open A note. with the string that I'm fretting right here. Okay, so that would be an A power chord or an A5 chord. So the fun thing about power chords, in my opinion, is that you can take an E major chord, turn it into a power chord, which will be called an E5, and actually only play it with one finger. See what I mean? So next thing we can do is we can say, okay, well, what if we want to go from an E to an F to a G, for example, with a power chord? All right, instead of doing basic chords, E to an F to a G, I can do it with only two strings if I want to. And the cool thing is if I've got a little bit of overdrive, I can really make it a power chord. That's why we call it power chords because they sound pretty powerful. Two strings. I'll show you what I'm doing there. For the F chord or an F5 power chord, I'm taking my index finger, finger number one, I'm putting it on string number six, fret number one, and then this is the tricky part. We're gonna take finger number three, and we're gonna put it down here where that dot is on the fifth string, string number five, third fret. We're gonna play those two strings together. Okay, now to play a G5 or a G power chord, I'm gonna take that F chord that I just showed you, the F power chord, and I'm gonna slide it up a whole step at, to the G note, which is right here on the sixth string, third fret, then I'm gonna take my third finger, and I'm gonna place it right down here like I did with the F, same pattern, on the fifth string, fifth fret, so string number five, string uh, fret number five. I'm just playing those two strings. So I'm going to start with E5 and go F5, G5. Here's E5. One finger is all I'm using there. 
Here's the F5 with two fingers. And then the G5 with two fingers. Up a whole step. All right. So I can do this all the way up the neck. I can do every single fret all the way up the neck. F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B, C. Now C is a half step. And finally end on E, right down here. So just to recap, E, F, G, A, now if I want to go to B, I'm going to go another whole step up. C is a half step. D, whole step up. And then E. Okay, that's all on string five and six. Okay, guess what? I can go to the next string over and start with my A chord, A5 power chord. And I can do the same exact thing. Go A, B, C. So I can go like this. And I can do that all the way up the neck. All right, cool. You can actually even go over to the next string, string number four, and play that one open. Okay, so I've got my D note, and then I can put my finger number one here on the second fret of the third string. And I'm playing a D power chord with just one finger. Then I can take my first finger and place it on the first fret of the fourth string and my third finger same pattern as i did on the other two strings place it right here on this dot of the third string so i can go like this Okay, those are just simply power chords. Practice what I'm showing you here and use your ear on a lot of the songs that you hear and I think you're gonna see where these chords fit in. All right, for example, Iron Man. That was beginning with the A power chord. I'll do it one more time. Or I could do Smoke on the Water. So hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope that you're going to have fun with what I showed you today. So many rock songs out there that use power chords, but also jazz, country, all types of music. So let's just end this lesson today with a little bit of Scorpions. Have you heard any Scorpions in a while? The Zoo. That's a good power chord song, all right? Here we go. Yeah.